uh, quite a few beefs provide that. Either four or five, I think, provide that. So uh, even though he he made a, a few missteps early on, he he still had a chance to to come back and win. Yeah. But maybe I don't know, miscounted or thought he would still have enough mana even after the hero power for the Ram Wrangler. Just an insane end to that game. Yeah, did see explosive shot and arcane shot in the opening hand for Rod. I am in firm belief that this is a Reno Hunter at this point. It is yeah, we haven't seen a single duplicate so far, and all we've seen is just kind of unique and interesting choices the entire step of the way. Yeah, I'm looking through the beast list right now. Timberwolf. <laughs> There's Timberwolf another one it too. I'm just going to hero power down for now. Looks like it's going to be a long-fought hero power battle between these two. Yeah, that's it. Well <laughs> yeah, I'm sending Shieldmaster going to hit the board. And no real response here from Rod. This is going to be a little bit tough. Mm -hmm. Still turn away from explosive shot. You don't want to use Hunter's Mark plus Arcane Shot in order to take this out. That's yeah, a bit much. I mean, it's just a 3 5 right now. Yeah, I'm just going to hear power it up and pass along. Jolly's going to get a little bit ahead in the development here. And I'm not sure that Reno Hunter really has the, uh, the comeback mechanics for this one. Yeah, I'd, I'd have to say no. <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> Don't mind the quick shot there. here. Don't mind the tomb spider here either. Uh, looking to set up, I think, explosive shot on that Senjin with a hunter's mark on a big minion next to it. So I'm just going to go with that tomb spider. And relatively unexciting choices from it. Speak for yourself. Which, which one are you uh, fancy in here? <laughs> I don't know. Tundra Rhino. I mean, I think Excellent it's like choice. an automatic Tundra Rhino. I mean, I guess Core Rager is a 4-4, four -four, but... Well, well, I mean, I guess Tundra Rhino has no value whatsoever with his hand. So, considering he has zero beasts, maybe Core Rager is the best pick. Yeah, Tundra Rhino is one of those cards also that can just force action from your opponent. Like, it's kind of yeah. a scary minion to be staring at and be like, am I really going to let this live? Yeah. yeah. Great turn here from Jolly. Just going to... Pick up some cards, deal with that, bash into face, and have mm. a handful of uh, threats back behind this, and building towards that Gore Howl. You know, if he sticks a good Gore Howl turn, it's going to be really good for him. Explosive shot. He's got that ascension. Just... I love that the crosshair comes up with the explosive <laughs> shot aiming. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> I've never seen this card cast in Spectator Client. I got the ascension in my sights. <laughs> Even Arcane That's... Shot, I think, does the same thing. I'm spinner going to be added. Well, the, the fact that it was a crosshair when he was just thinking about it. Yeah. Like, <laughs> to see it come out after he's already cast it, that's just part of the animation, right? It's like the red dot the that you see appear on your head in the movies. <laughs> Scoping in. Yeah. yeah. Options for Kill Command or Hunter's Mark this turn. Hunter's Mark would be some pretty good tempo along with that Sylvanas, but um, we did see Fain Death in here earlier, so I imagine he's going to be looking for that Sylvanas Fane Death on a bigger turn and get Houndmaster on the board in the meantime. Yeah. So finally finding a bit of damage in board presence. Jolly, meanwhile, a lot of ways to respond. Zombie Chow finds his way in a hand, and we see Baron Geddon, Gorhal, and a lot of interesting choices alongside with Ascension Shieldmaster. Is this a Reno Warrior? Oh, God. <laughs> what wins? A Reno Hunter or a Reno Warrior? Gonna shield slam and at least star seeker add to the board state and if you're curious what i think of the percentages for this matchup the answer is i have no idea because i've never seen this matchup take place this could be the first yeah this is the first time i've ever seen a reno hunter in competitive i have seen reno warrior um but i don't even know if it was in an actual like constructed just straight up conquest um format it might have been in a, some type of restricted but, oh, that's not a very good one. Timberwolf is not the best piece that you can It would have been good last game. Yeah. You dare talk that way about Timberwolf. 
Yeah. All right, cool Taskmaster in the hand. Gorehal options along with uh, Jessica True Heart Jolly. It's turns like these that I always feel like I struggle with. I'm like, they're just all decent plays. Mm-hmm. Like nothing really stands out. It's very clear. I guess Gorehal. I mean, you know your opponent's not playing a very aggressive hunter build from what you've seen. So this card just threatens to get such immense value. Charlie's going to throw a well played out. Gorehal's a ball of spiders. What? Ball of spiders seems like such a good card in this matchup because you're That's you're creating so much value out of nothing. You're creating. You're basically turning uh, one card into three salt, on average, decent sized minions. And then there's the the old chance that you sort of get the in, the unlimited ball of spiders where you get a tomb spider or you get a jeweled scarab from a uh, from a web spinner. And then you can just keep discovering even more stuff. It's looking like it might be Baron Geddon here. It doesn't well, even yeah. matter. That's what Lincoln Park told me. Yeah. It's a model that I live by. In the end, Jungle it doesn't Lincoln, even matter. Stampeding Kodo. And a and tomb, tomb spider. spider. You can tomb Whoa, spider. Whoa, Gladiator's me. Longbow's so sick oh right my here. my goodness. Tomb Spider into Tomb Spider also is a possibility. You could literally get infinite Tomb Spiders. It's a low possibility, but it's it's chance. So Gladiator's Longbow just lines up so nicely into this. The question is, what does he play after it? I I I don't Jungle Moonkin. I mean, he could Jungle Moonkin in Quick Shot. That that's the play that. <laughs> his eye on that. If he's going for Tomb Spider first, I imagine it's where his his eye is headed. Acid Maw, Desert Camel, or Hungry Crabs. Hungry Crab really wants to. Really want he's ready for action in this one, and at a one two, it doesn't surprise me. Um, yeah, I'm thinking Acid Maw is going to be probably your best choice. Yeah, yeah, just big dumb stuff. Enough big dumb stuff does beat Warrior. I will say that. It does. Dumb stuff in general. This game is just crazy. All right. Well, no spells in hand. Much top from end for both players. Charlie. Yeah, Jungle Moonkin's definitely got a target on his forehead right now. He's been successfully gore howled down. Jolly back at 20. Um, not a ton of burst potential from Rod, but kind of all the answers in the world. Deadly shot in the hand. Kind of missing that uh, that arcane shot at the moment. I mean, this may just be Hunter's Mark. Savannah's is just so scary. Yeah. Well, I mean, Rod does have... Uh, he is sort of chipping away at the health here. And Gladiator's Longbow is a lot of damage. He's thinking about uh, Sylvanas, Wild Pyromancer, Hunter's Mark, his own Sylvanas. Hmm. Kind of a clever play. He has seen <laughs> Baron getting already. It just dies to the Gorehal, though, that's on the board. Doomsayer. Doomsayer just hit the face? Doomsayer hit face and maybe deadly shot? Nope, he's going to go with uh, the Timberwolf as well. Very interesting play here from Rod. It looks like he's reluctant to give too much value, just trying to make use of all the poor cards he's drawn at this point. Does have Jolly yeah. done a 14, though. Yeah, there's that Reno Jackson. Confirmed. I'm waiting for Rod's. I'm going to laugh really hard when we get through all 30 cards of his deck and we don't see a Reno Jackson. <laughs> I, just, I just felt like playing one of Hunter. <laughs> yeah. I thought this was a Highlander format. Oh, I knew I forgot to put in something. <laughs> yeah, Jolly's just going to go ahead and take down that Doomsayer. Uh, and just Dr. Boom. This is a little bit risky. I mean, it's 16. Like, what if he has... What if Unleash the Hound got drawn here? That'd be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. He actually would have had lethal if he drew Unleash the Hounds this turn. So Wild Power Lancer, Hunter's Mark, going to mop up this uh, this Doctor Boom in the meantime. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and still some decent-sized minions here, but it just seems like Jolly has a lot more top in, at least in his hand right now. And he's going to throw out the Sylvanas, but that Sylvanas is going to meet a pretty short end, I believe. Well, he doesn't uh, really that... have an effective way to kill it. Gorehal's on four, I believe, right now. Is it on four? Mm. Yeah. He's just going to okay. throw away the Stampede Kodo. I'm a little bit surprised by that. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, it is on four. So I'm still saving the Sylvanas. Sylvanas. He's saving that Sylvanas for Fain Death, guaranteed. Like we've seen Fain Death in his deck. He knows it's a combo he deliberately put in here. It's gonna be cruel Taskmaster and welcome to the Grand Tournament. Jolly's gonna start this tank up. And with Reno Jackson back behind, I'm not sure that Rod's ever gonna find the damage to end this game. He's gonna have to win this one by value. Jeweled Scarab is a card that you can use for value. But unfortunately, there's not too many things that you can pick up that are gonna well um, be of much use. He does have the old Dread Scale Acid Maw combo. <laughs> you don't see that one much in competitive play. Assembled it from his discovers in this one. Jolly's got to be feeling good. Yeah, and he's just going to start pushing damage, too. Doesn't even care about the tank up. Uh, 13 cards remaining. We're probably not going to even have time to see. I think it's the Acid Mantra scale. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty good here. Is Blizzard watching? This is what they designed it for. What a combo. <laughs> this is great. This is Hearthstone. Yeah. Boom. All about nuance, precision. <laughs> That's Hearthstone. Yep, Dread Scale, I imagine, going to be meeting its demise. Uh, and Jolly, not really short on life here with, with Reno Jackson in hand. Yeah. It looks like he is going to uh, play it this turn, probably. Nope, tank he's up just, it is. Yeah, he's he's going to waste so a lot. Of his life. Yeah. He's sort of out of stuff, though. He's out of minions. And Paladin Shredder is a pr pretty good draw. Uh, now, I, I believe the Gorehal is still at... Is it at two now? Three or two. So it'll still be able to answer this. But, you know, Rot's going to keep chipping away with that hero power. Maybe eventually you'll have a, a minion that sticks. Oh, Rom Hell Scream! Oh. You just equipped that death bite and you hit him right in the face. Nope, doesn't hit him in the face. Okay. I mean, I, I guess he realizes that this is a, a a Reno Hunter. So if he hits him in the face, that's sort of the the go play for uh, for Reno Jackson. He'll yeah. still have enough damage, it seems. But oh, anti heal bot. He would have been punished. He didn't know that there was a heal bot in there. So, <laughs> calculated play. Well done from uh, from Jolly there. Uh, well Rio Jackson <laughs> puts him back up to thirty. I don't know if Rod can really close this game. And I think I think it's going to boil down to um, whether or not he can just stabilize. And right now, yeah. his tools are starting to dwindle. So he's going to anti heal bot here. Don't blame him for that. You know, if he can find, like, a really good turn for Deadly Shot, that might be something that can turn this game around, but... You know, it looks like he's just kind of falling short. Like, you know, his hero power is doing negative work right now. He's just going to go ahead and power shot. Line up that Reno Jackson with the Eagle Horn Bow, just hero power. Yeah. Good use of this turn, though. Yeah, he did. Definitely did. But will he have enough oomph to get through and of course we always have to keep in mind that jolly does have that golden monkey sort of that inevitability built into this this deck not the monkey so, he's looking for nope still a monkey though it is still a monkey <laughs> there's that deadly shot value he was looking for yeah 10 to face but why wait what if he drew uh, Feign Death right there. Take that Grom and smack him for 10. That would have been a, pretty good. The Game Hunter's looking pretty good here. Rod actually might have taken control of the board with this sequence of plays. I mean, his hand is really weak back behind, but so is Jolly's. This match is silly. That's the, the <laughs> furthest word from what I was thinking about. But an accurate description nonetheless. Yeah. Here's Monkey Tank up. And Rod finally making a little bit of headway on the life total here. There's that feigned death, but it's not the value he wants right now. He may even yeah. just choose a deadly shot here just to keep pushing damage. And honestly, I don't mind this. I mean, you know, he's waited for so long. Jolly had just had a weak turn. You know, use this right now 
to try to take your striking opportunity. You're making you're doing like such little damage. You need every single point you can get right now. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Is, he, is he feeling brave? I like it. Yeah, here Golden we go, boys. Monkey. All right, well, now Rob can just flood the board and not be afraid of removal. That's Alex Straza, Confessor Beltris, and Mogor the Ogor. Pain Death is looking pretty darn good here. Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Because not only are you going to steal a minion this turn, they're also going to steal a minion next turn, because there's no way he's removing. Oh, man. Oh, oh God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. SMR! <laughs> Mogor knows exactly where the place is. That's so, a lot of damage to take, and he oh, two Alex Strazas! <laughs> How can there be two Alex Strazas? Alright, well, there's a potential lethal here. There's multiple potential lethals. King Crush, Ragnaros. But King Crush has to get through Mogor the Ogor first. This game went to Tempo Storm. Neck near Thermoplug. It has just become legendary. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this game is insane. What do you even... here? Sylvanas is so good! I don't even know, but Sylvanas has to connect with a minion. <laughs> Alright, he gets that one. And Lepronomes could just kill him! Oh my god, Reno! There's that. Reno, okay. Is this real life? <laughs> oh no, Mogar the Ogre is still on the board, so these hounds might not go the way he wants them to. <laughs> oh, jeez. The most important... It's fun. This is actually kind of good for Rod. Oh, jeez. He, he's getting more Unleash the Hounds, but he's also putting more damage on the board. Oh, no! Oh, no. That's a horrible result. All right. Well, this is... I don't even know. All right, Mogor. He's just spawning more Lepronomes every time somebody dies. Every this time is a somebody problem. dies. This is a real problem. Oh my gosh. Ah, they're all going to miss. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. This, this is just going to... This is going... Good. Even no more. <laughs> Why? Why? This is a disaster. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Finally, Mogor hit. Oh, no. <laughs> oh this my is goodness! This is the best game I've ever seen in my entire life. That was literally the worst outcome from every single hound. They didn't kill a single thing, and then Mogor the Ogor finally hits the golden monkey. He just monkey. gets to Alex him. He's just oh, dead. Oh no! No, Alex, Alex, Jolly, you have the game. Oh no! I don't even know what to think anymore. I don't even know what to think anymore. Oh my god. This is... This is... This is... Jo Jolly's just having his, having his fun. What is going on? What a game. And that's going to be the match going over to Jolly. He's going to go for the style points for the Leper Gnome. Lethal and Jolly's gonna take the series three to one. What a series! What a game! That was the most crazy, intense game of Hearthstone I've ever watched. I think everybody should have be forced to play Reno Warrior and Reno Hunter. <laughs> Absolutely incredible! Oh my goodness! I, I, what do you even say about that game? Like that? That's literally probably gonna be one of the most memorable games of my entire life. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I'm an old man telling Hearthstone stories to my grandkids about how we used to, we only used to have a 400 card pool and two Lepronomes were in every deck. And the power creep at that point is like, you guys played Lepronomes? We have one mana six fives that deal five damage when they die now. Lepronome was even in Freeze Mage back in the day. <laughs> that's how, that's how popular a card Lepronome was. But that's,